What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, and we're back in Space Engineers, and we're also back with the Building a Fleet series, sort of. I guess this could be considered part of it, because what I want to show you today is the Partisan, which technically would be kind of called the Referee Ship. As you guys probably know, I'm making kind of these two teams, with a red team and a yellow team, designed to fight off against each other with relatively equivalent vessels. And for some reason or another, I fancied making one for myself that was just designed to be the bruiser. The one that comes in and sorts out the ruckus is that if there is one. So the Partisan is kind of a corvette, I guess, as far as ship class is concerned. And let's go and have a quick look around and I'll tell you a bit about what the ethos was with this. And primarily, it was all about trying to make a ship that was A, for combat, so it could take the punches, and then B, could perform and move as well as the fighters it was likely to be fighting against. So, one thing I am very pleased with is the appearance of it. Now, it does look a little bit like a mini Venator, but that's kind of okay, I'm, especially the rear end. It's kind of got Star Destroyer written all over it, but at the same time, you know, that's fine, that's fine, there's nothing particularly wrong with that. Quite like, overall it came out quite nice, and as you guys will notice, there are four, so four, there are six large atmospheric thrusters down the centre. And that was because I wanted this thing to perform just as well in atmosphere as it does in space. So it's not a survival ready ship, it is kind of piped up, but it's never going to have the room or the ability to lift the cargo it would need to actually operate. But you've seen the outside enough, let's go and have a quick peek in the inside, because in reality the inside is not very interesting. The idea of this was simply to try and give redundancy for every component and make sure every component that was really important was located as centrally as possible and had duplicates of it. So you come down the middle and you notice we've got lots of extra hydrogen tanks, extra power, which in creative mode technically aren't needed, but it means that you've got this added advantage that you're not, you know, if I take one of these out, we're not about to fall out of the sky. And you can also see how there's conveyors running all over the place to try and keep everything piped up. So finally, if we come through these doors, this takes you through to basically my chamber where I can pilot from, which is extra specially armoured. And then down the back is more of the same, but with a jump drive and an antenna. But the whole point of this really wasn't anything to do with the interior. It was partly to do with how it looks and partly to do with how it performs. So let me give you a quick demonstration of what is a ship that weighs, ah, what's that, about almost 4 million kilograms. And as I said, the whole point was to get this to be about as capable as the fighters it was trying to fight with. The things that it was likely to encounter in atmosphere, likely to encounter in space and then be able to actually compete with them, not have to sit there as an immobile block relying purely on its turrets. Instead, it's got frontally facing a massive bank right down the center line of missile launchers on top, because those large ship missile launchers are really, really powerful. So if I jump in here and also grab the camera out, because obviously we need a camera to help us aim, with this sort of ship you never get that first person view without compromising yourself. So in the end we went with the camera instead, but you'll get the idea that you can do some pretty, some pretty decent work with these rockets. And not only that, but you've also got the added benefit that because you're so quick it gives you that ability to do some of the manoeuvres that you kind of need to to make proper use of frontally firing weapons. You know, normally it'd be very difficult to use these sort of weapons with a large ship because they're so big, so heavy, especially especially at this site. Now obviously this has come at some compromises, so one of the compromises for this is the fact that it's primarily light armour. There's a little bit of heavy kicking around here and there, but by making it light armour it keeps the manoeuvrability, it keeps the ability to do things like fly upside down, which was an added benefit and you might say, hey well why the atmosphere thrusters then? The atmosphere thrusters are there because when you're this way up you want to be able to still go up really quickly, and when you go down you want your dampers to be able to fight it properly. So you can see, if we go down, we're going to accelerate really quickly, but you need to be able to stop that before you hit the ground. You need to be able to decelerate, potentially even quicker, because gravity is helping to pull you. So you've kind of got a bit of an idea of what this ship's all about. I didn't want to talk too much about it, other than, of course, we can do this down on the planet, and then, being hydrogen as we are, we can be just as manoeuvrable up in space as well. We've got a nice complement of turrets that are primarily set up with very short radiuses because with missile turrets against fast moving targets you're never going to hit them unless you're shooting when they're close you want to be shooting at the closest target so if we go into the control panel all those missile turrets have been set with a shorter radius than they should have and that's entirely to help us hit the smaller faster unit so finally before we go into the actual gameplay because i what i did was get together a bunch of 
broadswords, four broadswords against one of this, and then the guys in the broadswords had two lives, essentially. So it was a, a, essentially eight broadswords versus this to see who would come out on top. And whether or not this ship would still be flying at the end, how much damage can it sustain? And I actually did this three times because each time I found little bits where it could be improved. This is the third variant where I've added more power redundancy. Initially, I needed more hydrogen redundancy, and then I needed more power redundancy. But before we get to that point, there's one final thing I've been doing that's, that's kind of fun and hopefully helps demonstrate to you guys why redundancy is such a good thing. So if I go in here and bring out our old friend, the final Lotus. I'm not going to let it rain down from the sky. The whole point is this is an enormous miss. This missile is about as big as the ship, isn't it? Yeah, the missile is not much smaller than the ship we're going to shoot it at. But what I am going to do is just line it up straight. And if we line ourselves up straight, I'm in spectator mode so I can do this nice and easily. And we come firing down, we can actually launch this thing through that thing with relative ease. That little lag. And there you go. Missing most of the interior. It's a shame last time I did this, I managed to cut the thing in half with it. <laughs> but it's still flying, and the point is you can take out huge portions of this ship and it will still fly. I wonder if, did my cockpit survive? Yeah, even my cockpit in my little room survived that without too much problem. Still bits of the Death Lotus falling out the bottom. <laughs> So I'm quite pleased with this. It's pretty resilient. It certainly looks quite good, especially for above. I don't know why. This angle in particular is really quite nice. So because I can't help myself, let's align this with gravity. And that might help if I'm aligned with gravity as well. Because I can't help myself, let's stick this one through that side. Come on, through the middle. There we go. There we go. Chop the front off. Beautiful. And do I still have, do I still have a cockpit? Hopefully, I, I can't get into it from this side, but I think it's still in there. I think it might still be alive. Let's try this side. Let me in. Yes! Still got my cockpit, and she probably flies even better like this, because she's a bit lighter. So there you go, guys. I'll leave you with a bit of gameplay footage to finish this out. I apologise for my voice this video. It's been a little bit uh, croaky the last few days, a little bit ill, but... So be it, I am recovering, and yeah, thank you very much to the four guys that came and joined me with that gameplay test. Hope you guys enjoy it. A little bit of highlights of some pretty enjoyable aerial combat with this massive great thing against a whole bunch of little fighters. So I'll catch you later, guys. And, uh, um... Okay, then. Good to see the asteroid update has gone well. I'll leave you with that gameplay footage. Cheers, guys. Click like before you watch that bit, please. Thank you all. All right, take off in three, two, one, go. Coming for you, folks. You silly little ships. Silly little ships. I'm not 100% sure what the tactic is here. I've got two options, and they're... They are very, very alternate. All right, I don't see any other ships in my lead. Do a barrel roll, sure. Oh yeah, I can do barrel rolls too. That's that's not exclusive to you folks. Right. Gonna swing over left here. Just because I weigh four million kilograms doesn't mean I can't do that. Holy cow! There it I'm is. Excited. Hello. Hello. Surprise time. <laughs> Alright, they're going in. Ho 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 ho, I so almost got you. Oh, Come back here. It starts right in front of me. Yeah. Oh, ooh, we get nailed out of the cockpit. I'm down. I'm missing, I'm missing a wing. <laughs> This is great. That is insane. We're still going. Ah. Watch out, there's a fighter still going. I'm oh, down. Oh. Cockworks disconnected and like... <laughs> oh, oh, dodged the ram of the corpse as well. Your corpse yeah, was heading straight job. up oh, into a wing. Oh, application error. 
Yeah, oh, we've lost that code too. Oh no. Oh, that is awesome. Just watching this fiery balls just go scrap. Basically. That's it. Impressive. I was trying to take out the um the um turrets underneath, <laughs> but then it took up. Let's try to go and organize the guys. No! I'm down! Ah, uh, <laughs> direct right, here with down. the frontal launches. No! I'm down! <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing left. So do you have to stay there, or are you going to be able to come to us now? I can't come and kill your ships that are waiting, no. That would be completely unfair. Okay. Well, I'm just kind of flying it just... I, I would recommend regrouping because you've lost some guys. Some guys have uh -huh. disconnected. I'll yeah. chill. I'll chill. Coming back in. But... <laughs> Are we all in ships now? Yeah. I've got a ship. How about you? I would freaking love it. If I, I do. Could... Anyone not have a ship? Uh, I got one. You're ready, Wasted. I'm yeah, all ready. good and ready for you guys, don't you worry. He's just waiting there up on top of the mountain. <laughs> Alright, well, let's do it. Yes. I'll follow. Red Squadron, re engage. Engaging. That aim, though. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? Covered in my ship just like shut down. <laughs> yeah, let's fly you took out my, my turn. Reactor. No, I didn't. I am, I'm not shooting at you. Oh, actually, I might be. I've got some Gatlings that shoot at long range. All the missiles are shit, set to shoot at close range only. My reactors Because there's gone. no point shooting otherwise. But I figured, yeah, let's play on my terms. <laughs> Which means you guys can come up here. With your atmospheric thrusters yeah. and your aerodynamic wings. I don't believe... Oh, I wow. Was. It's way up there. <laughs> Is, are you getting hit, Wasted? I've taken a bit more damage, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm actually hitting him. The moment you go so quick on crash landing, you glitch under the ground. Oh, okay, I just lost a wing. I'm still flying. I got it. I, I lost the stabilizer, I'm still going. Not down yet. Come on. There we go. I'm out. <laughs> I was stuck. Come on. Alright. Eat it. Eat it. it. Oh. I'm being hit hard. Oh, taking fire. I, I'm, I've lost it. Okay, lost reactors going down. Hey, that happened to me. Oh, lost oh, it. Oh, crashed. Oh, I'm down. Ah, <laughs> uh, that is impressive there. <laughs> You get about 15 seconds and then your fighter disintegrates. Red one, my system has crashed. Cannot fly. You say that, something's happened that's taken out all Ooh, of my hydrogen. Oh, wow. All of my hydrogen is gone, but I'd really <laughs> like to know why. I'm going to take a copy of the ship quickly. There you go. I've got, I, think uh, yeah. I, I think I got I one. Actually, I'd really like to know what happened there because damage analysis. the, the ship doesn't seem to have enough external <laughs> damage to actually equate for why it's not got any hydrogen <laughs> left. Yeah, must have broken I have a, a pipe. reactor, but I'm not on. I don't know what's going on. I have a reactor. Take a look so. at this. It's possible that I may have hit a pipe. I don't know. That was the plan, but yeah, that's interesting. So, so this thing, I mean, it looks like it just suffered. No, there's still hydrogen. What has happened here? There's still multiple hydrogen tanks. Um, I think you guys took out the power. Maybe, maybe. maybe. Although I, I saw a functioning there. reactor. Maybe. No, because I see functioning gyros and shit here, yeah. and like an open doors and stuff. It's on. What is it that that the atmospheres are on? It? The atmosphere. Uh, yeah, there's, um, there's only one hydrogen reactor left. Hmm. Guys, there even another bed bay. There you go. Whoever's not able to spawn. It's kind of near. No the idea. Ship. These thrusters okay. are still hooked up. Yeah, that's weird. I put one down on a connection and it works. 
so yeah, the I'm gonna, thrusters I'm gonna are still that hooked up. up. To a bug. Yeah, the thrusters are legitimately still hooked up in there. I don't get it. It shouldn't have gone down. Yeah. Can uh, can somebody uh, set up a GPS at this? From a oh, spectator over. Wasted ship. I, I think we should reload it and do a, a heavy variant test. Yeah. But it, it's interesting yeah. to see that. You know, because I tried this before on the stream as well, and there was a couple of times where it was just like, again, I didn't seem to have taken that much damage, and I fell out of the sky. And yeah. Coming in here, you look around, and there's a completely active oh, okay. hydrogen tank fully kept connected up yeah. to all of the system, and everything's still connected. Yeah, and as I said, and I stepped them down, and it worked. That's really odd. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.